Welcome everyone to today's Alcor webinar, CSDM 5 Wise. This is a session one of our five session CSDM webinar series. Alcor Solutions is a global digital transformation services company serving Fortune 500 government agencies and other leading organizations in multiple industry verticals across US, Canada, Europe, Japan, and India. Alcor advises leading businesses on cloud platforms, digital workflows, technology and robotic automation, enterprise service management, HR solutions, integrated risk management, and data and analytics. We also provide business process consulting to capture, re-engineer, and improve processes that can easily be automated to deliver real value. The Alcor Consulting team has excellence in business strategy, cloud technology, and organizational change management. Alcor is a ServiceNow Elite Partner, AWS Partner, an Oracle Gold Partner, Oracle Strategic Partner, and also works with PeopleRain, Azure, Salesforce, Incota, Snow Software, Tanium, and several other cutting-edge technologies. We have time reserved at the end of the webinar for question and answers, so please feel free to type any questions into this question section of the webinar dashboard. Our today's webinar is presented by Philip Sherry and Rajat Jain. Philip is a senior consultant manager with Alcor Solutions, working in ServiceNow automation and IT operations management domain. He has over 22 years of experience across multiple aspects, including hardware rollouts, project and program management, data center systems, SME, for both VMware and Cisco environments. He was the CMDB and discovery owner for the largest hospital system in Missouri. He wants to bring his seven plus years of ServiceNow experience across ITSM, ITOM, CSM, and ITBM to clients so they can learn from his mistakes and more quickly gain the highest utilization of the platform across the entire organization. Also we have with us is Rajat Jain. Rajat Jain is a senior consultant automation with Alcor Solutions, working in ServiceNow automation and IT operations management domain. He has an overall 14 years of experience in IT industry, including infrastructure monitoring and ITOM. His goal is to analyze an organization's business needs and help them streamline the approach to maintain the infrastructure. He wants to make an impact in the areas of IT operations management and team leadership. To make our today's webinar session engaging, we have planned a couple of poll questions, so be on the lookout for those on your screen. So we look forward to your participation and thanks. Now I'll turn the webinar over to Phil. Thank you, Neha. Um, so I'm gonna go through over the agenda here. And while I talk about this, Neha is gonna bring up uh, our first poll question. Um, so the agenda is why is CSDM important? Um, why? Is it relevant to me? Why do you wanna use the standard model versus customization? Why will my chief executive, CEO, CIO, uh, CXO be interested? And why should you start small? And then at the very end, we'll do a question and answer. Uh, as Neha said, there, it, um, Zoom has a question and answer component to it. So please make sure to post your questions there. Um, so we can help uh, group them together versus using the chat. So what do y'all think? Are you using CSDM in your organization? Most people said no, 77%. That's good. That's why we're here today um, to help you start your CSDM journey and, and get those approvals. So the first why, why is CSDM important? So ServiceNow has introduced C the common services data model um, with the Kingston release. As part of that, um, 
it, it brings consistency across the platform and across multiple uh, multiple different applications within um, the, your ServiceNow platform. Uh, it gives you navigation across the platform, uh, data, and uh, environment. The entire life cycle of both your ServiceNow instance and your your uh, environment uh, across applications, assets um, is simplified and gives you some standardization across, across the entire life cycle. It, it's gonna accelerate your integration with other, other systems outside of ServiceNow. And because ServiceNow is going all in, um, you're gonna future-proof your, your ServiceNow environment in order to uh, make it easier to, to adopt new products. So let's say you're using ITSM today, only today and you want to use CSM, there is some standardization using a uh, common service data model that brings um, clarity across the entire platform. So CSM began with Kingston. Um, so that's where it was first introduced out of the box. And uh, they just released, um, as of the Paris release, the CSDM 3.0 white paper. Um, so there have been uh, now three different white papers released. Uh, 1.0 was released with Madrid, 2.0 with New York. And uh, for those of you that haven't read the white paper, that's, you know, uh, it's not, it's not a, a an excellent read, but it, it will give you all the information you need about CSDM implementation. Um, so we've got another question for everybody. Um, has your organization tried uh, to show business capabilities within ServiceNow? And, and the reason we've, um, we've put together the, the question this way is because um, myself, I was a, uh, at an organization pre that we were rolling out Kingston when I departed and we were trying to figure out how to do business capabilities uh, for the organization. So the introduction of CSDM, um, we, can, we kind of tried to do that before CSDM even existed. And uh, now it would be much easier because these additional tables have been introduced uh, by ServiceNow. Uh, so give me another couple seconds to answer the poll question. That's kind of what I thought was going to happen. So most people haven't started uh, trying to show business capabilities because, and that's why they're here today. And that's where we're trying to help you with, with our expertise. Why is CSCM relevant to me? So most definitely there's a relevancy for, C, uh, for the common service data model because of the introduction of Service Graph um, that was announced at Knowledge 2020. And that's where you tie your development operations and service components um, across the organization. So across your IT organization, uh, that's where Service Graph comes in, but Service Graph is dependent on your common service data model being in place. Um, it gives you consistency across uh, the tables within ServiceNow um, can help you drive and understand your service costs and give you some better reporting because of that commonality across the entirety of CSDM. If you use the out-of-the-box tables and fields, there's going to be significantly less overhead. Uh, I think multiple, many people have heard ServiceNow pushing again and again Hey, use the use out of box um, and and reduce the amount of customization uh, you put it put into the product. And then there are a few products that if you're going to utilize them in um, in the future, 
um, whether they be service portfolio management, application portfolio management, service mapping, vendor workspace, or others, they, they always have a dependency now on having the CSDM tables populated um, as ServiceNow has defined them. So I know multiple customers we've talked to have looked at application portfolio management um, and service mapping. And while those didn't used to have a dependency on um, CSDM, they are gaining that dependency with every release uh, from ServiceNow. So I've kind of address this a little bit, you know, why do you want to use the standard model versus customizing everything on your own? Um, first of all, ServiceNow has given a, um, a, a link between what people think about conceptually to a physical table within ServiceNow. Um, and if you've, you've probably seen this before, if you've done any research on the CSCM, um, this is the version 3.0 um, so there is some changes that have even occurred between the two uh, CSDM 2.0 white paper and CSDM 3.0. Um, ServiceNow products within the platform are using you know, CSDM as their standard. Um, and ServiceNow has stated that publicly, you know, and, and so if you're not um, going to use their standard model, um, you probably will have issues uh, with, with future upgrades and future applications. To give you a, a, a definition around business service, application service, technical services, um, and that's important because in our experience, people who have had issues implementing C, uh, CSDM, it's because they can't get agreement within their organization on what defines a business service, what defines an application or technical service. And so those are important definitions that as you use the ServiceNow standard, um, you will not have a problem, you know, it gives you that, that wording to better define um, across the organization what those things mean. And so you wanna make sure that uh, you use that um, to your advantage. Uh, ServiceNow introduced the Data Foundations Dashboard. Um, it was introduced with the Paris release. Uh, just found out today that it actually is available going back um, uh, to previous releases before Paris. Um, but that gives you a standard set of maps, you know, foundation design, your managed technical services, and then that cell consume component. And we've stated this more than once already that ServiceNow is standardizing on CSDM. And so there are future products uh, that will not work. Um, they haven't said that for sure, but uh, I, I would put, a, put money on it that there are products that won't work unless you're using CSDM framework and the, and the tables that are prescribed there. So I introduced this concept of the CSDM Foundation Dashboard. Um, as I said, and they were introduced that in Paris. I got a quick little screenshot here of what that looks like. Um, and so if you've been around ServiceNow at all, you'll, you'll hear the concepts of crawl, walk, run, and fly. With um, the Paris release and the 3.0 white paper, they actually introduced a earlier component before crawl, and that's the foundation because the, uh, the foundation is just that. It's, um, it's the foundation of the entire uh, common service data model. But they created this dashboard to help you get better understanding around how am I, how am I doing on my CSDM journey? Um, and so you have to, if you use the common tables, if you use the common definitions, you will uh, be able to utilize this report functionality that lives in the dashboard. Um, so they, they introduced it in, during COVID lockdowns in August, 2020. Um, it's available at no cost in the app store. It actually works in the Orlando, Paris and Quebec releases. Um, you, those key indicators are what you can use to introduce it to your executive stakeholders so that they can better understand how are we doing on our journey. 
And the beautiful thing is every component within the data foundations dashboard has a remediation playbook associated with it. And so it links to those remediation playbooks. As you can see, this is this is screenshot from my personal developer instance. And it's a ability to go and read how ServiceNow suggests you fix those, those issues. Um, and and makes gives you that playbook. And that, that's the beautiful thing about CSDM is that there's a playbook that you can utilize across the entirety of the common service data model. Now I'm gonna pass it off to Rajat um, that he will deal with the he'll talk about the next couple of whys of CSDM. Thanks, Bill. Firstly, I would like to thank all the attendees uh, for giving me an opportunity to speak. And our next question, which pops out on our screen is that, why will my chief executives be interested? Okay. So before that, I'd like to know you that, does your leadership support CSDM? There is a question on your screen as a poll, and I request everyone to submit their thoughts. Just waiting for a few seconds to get that result out. Wow, a mixed reply, but most of you, us are saying not yet, and that is why I'm here today. Perfect. Julie said, that is why we all are here today. So with this question, I would like to literally tweak the question that, why not my chief executives are interested in CSDM? It is such a wonderful concept that everyone would definitely like it. CSDM, also known as a common service data model, it gives the CMDB a new life. So even if you have a very mature CMDB, it revamps your entire CMDB. Whether you have a multiple service for products or just ITSM, you can benefit from having the same model. With the CSDM being simplified into core tables, provided with all instances that come with a CMDB, it is very easy to manage like data types while using CSDM. Moreover, it unlocks maturity and reduce cost. To be honest, uh, the comments we hear the most in conversation about the CSDM is, what is the service offering or uh, something along those lines? Turns out there is a culture that has not had the opportunity uh, to learn some of the tactical and uh, strategic pieces of the business that surely lead to return on investment with your instance. With the release of the CSDM and all the content ServiceNow has provided to the community, it unlocks the capability to learn more about connected services, how they factor into each other, and drive capability to analyze the cost associated to operating your business. Along with that, it also promote agility and innovation. So uh, in all of the maturity models, I build for clients that I always leave space at the end phase uh, to pivot toward innovation, checking on ITIL and uh, service of best practices that align businesses to capture the return on their investment, find savings and increase productivity. So uh, return on investment is a key metric that your chief executives definitely want to track. Naturally, these models will get your organization operating as cost on the now platform applications 
when they are practiced. And uh, understanding the improvement models and having methods to track the cost associated to a service from end to end is what matters when you are quantifying return on investment. With the right plan and long-term architecture, you could be operating at value of a given product under six months. And I can assure that you will be receiving return on investments within an year. And that's why I'm pretty sure that your leadership supports the CSGM. And as I see the poll, that uh, majority of you with who with uh, are not yet starting the CSDM. So that's not an issue. We are here to make it a plan for your organization, how to implement CSDM and why they need CSDM. With that, uh, I'd like to move to the next slide, which states why start small? So uh, in this, I will say that it was correctly said, Rome wasn't built in a day and neither is a world-class data modeling management program. It is going to take time to get your program where you want. Changes to both the ServiceNow CSDM and CMGB are often considered complex and time-consuming. The key in CSDM and CMGB initiatives is not to try to do everything at once. We don't need to boil the ocean. Start with a small set of applications, CMGB classes or services. Tackle your most critical services first, like uh, business critical applications or any other uh, known infrastructure components that are currently you know, being already discovered or well documented. You can start by taking a step-by-step -step approach that will help you get familiar with the solution and its processes and concepts. Furthermore, prioritizing and focusing on smaller batches means you book results earlier, allowing the organization to experience the benefits of a well-structured CSDM and CMTB, which will definitely create more support for your future projects. As you can see on the screen, implementing CSDM is not a one-step activity. We need to figure out the business services, populate business application tables, create required uh, records in business service table and technical service table, gather the data or I will say logic for dynamic CI groups, and then create the respective dynamic CI groups and many other activities. So all this will definitely take a little more time when we start the project. However, after the first batch, you can pick up the next batches and gradually build out your CSDM maturity and reach the level where you want to be. So I just want to ask one thing from everyone here. Do you guys also believe that small strokes always fell great oaks? I think we should have a poll question for this. Just waiting a couple of seconds for the poll result. Yeah, as expected, a fine class quote by Sir Benjamin Franklin. So we all believe that when we start with the small implementations, we could achieve what we intended to. However, uh, I must uh, want to remember everyone that ultimate goal of CSDM is optimal service management. During your CSDM journey, you will constantly have to redefine and reassess the goals and desire to be situation. A clear focus on goals and desired results will surely help you to speed up the decision making and prevent you from diverting from your path. Because when you have your priorities straight, your time and efforts are spent on the things that matter the most. With this, I want to switch to you now rather than us explaining CSDM more. Please feel free to ask any questions you have in your mind without much thinking that they are relevant or not. We're open for any kinds of questions.
So we do have a one question already. Um, what do I need to install for CSDM to work? Rajat, you want to talk about that? Sure. So uh, CSDM is not a plugin, I will say. So you don't need to install as such anything over here. There is an inbuilt plugin of CSDM these days for dashboards only that you need to install for data foundation dashboards and CSDM dashboards. However, the framework is within the logic that you need to implement. So uh, yeah, you don't need to install anything uh, specific from store or something to start working on CSDM. Hope that. Uh... Thank you, Rajat. Thank you, Phil and Rajat. What an insightful webinar it was. And uh, we are, you know, there are a couple of questions that we have. So as a reminder here, please use the question section uh, in the dashboard to ask a question on today's topic. So as we have already got the answer to the first one, the next question we have is, what is the license cost for CSDM? Thankfully, CSDM has no license cost associated with that outside of your ServiceNow uh, existing license because uh, all the tables are included as part of the base instance since Kingston. Thank you, Phil. Yeah, so the next question here is, as you mentioned above that it is free of cost, we just need to put the data in correct tables. Uh, can we implement this on our own? Or we still need you to implement it? Yeah, I would like to answer that. So uh, it's not a mandate that you need someone to implement it. Anyone can go and implement it. However, there are certain uh, very strong reasons that you need a service now partner and specifically Alcor to implement that. And what tops my mind are, uh, uh, firstly, that is proficiency and specialization. So any service now partner, specifically Alcor, uh, we have unique and uh, best services to be provided because our core business is service now. In a nutshell, we eat, breathe, and sleep service now, which may be slightly different from your team. Secondly, uh, the time and resources. With the, you know, with the constant demands from existing business, it could be difficult to pull an internal project team together for a new implementation. When using a partner like Alcor to implement this, uh, the team can focus on capturing requirements, communicating eff effectively, and uh, creating deliverables uh, to drive the result, and all that on back of your business outcomes. And third, and what tops is, uh, uh, I will say time to value and again, return on investment. You, uh, you might have you know, heard someone in your life saying, uh, if you don't have time to do it right, when will you have the time to do it over? So without having calculated uh, project plans and architecture, it will be difficult to support a long-term vision from the time of implementation. So partners like Alcor can help you strategize and create long-term goals through best practices and their experience. Because we have experience working on all stages of deployments throughout the maturity of CSGM. So time to value and uh, return on investment is a conversation that keeps changing every year. With the right plan and long-term architecture, you will surely be operating in at, at value, as I said, within a, a time of six months, and surely receiving a return on investment within the year, when you engage a good, I would say an elite service now partner like Alpha. Hope these reasons are sufficient to engage us. Yeah, thank you, Rajat. Another question that we have here is, is it a set of reports? No. CSDM is not a set of reports. It's a framework to have everything at correct place. However, some reports can be generated after implementing CSDM, which shows your uh, data, their CI mappings and other things. 
but CSGM is not a so not a set of reports at least. It's it's a far bigger than a, a small report. The only component I would call a set of reports is the dashboard that was introduced in 2020. But even there, it's it goes beyond just reporting. Thank you, Phil and Rajat. So we might wait another couple of minutes and then handle any questions that we have from the audience. We will be doing a uh, sem another seminar in this series on the five hows of CSDM. Um, and so if you look on the screen here, you you will be able to register from that for that uh, using the link in the Alcor website uh, under our webinars. Thank you for reminding Phil. Another question that we have is, do you guys have any experience of actually implementing the CSDM for customers? Yes. Not a single experience. We have multiple customers and environments where we have implemented CSDM. So we have implemented CSDM 2.0 for, for multiple customers. And for a couple of customers, we have implemented CSDM 3.0. And that too in last quarter. So we have a very recent experience also in implementing those things. And there are a couple of projects which are already in our work in progress status and the team is currently working on them. So Alcor has a vast experience on huge environments for uh, implementing CSDM. Thank you, Rajat. Thank you for answering the question. So. It was really an insightful webinar, and we are definitely looking forward to the five hows of CSDM answered in our next webinar session. So thanks, everyone, for joining, and we look forward to seeing you at the next webinar.